Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. So from this video we are moving towards the main project and now we will focus on the main project and we will just start creating our main task. So if you have this source uh, project uh, for UFE then you will see some more options here like 3D arena and 3D fighter as well. So we are going to use this 3D fighter and we are going to use this type 1 unity game okay. So we will double click on this and also I have just go to file build settings and I have just removed that 2D fighter scene and because our final game will be on, on this 3D type game okay. So we open it and uh, if for example if we after opening it uh, if we go to UFE manager and uh, if we open the global config file you can see that inside the characters uh, we can add these same characters. So here you can see we have a Robert Kyle, we have a Ethan and we have a Seller. So we have created our custom characters and uh, if we go back and that characters was inside the demos and 2D fighters characters I think and yeah and here we have new characters and we have created Seller and Blidhani. So let's add the Blidhani as well here. So now we have added the Blidhani and Seller as well which we have created in our uh, past videos. So now let's see it will work or not. So let's open the play the 3D uh, scene, fighter scene and it will be similar to the other 2D uh, fighter scene. So here you can see the versus and we have player versus CPU. And now you can see that we have this character and this character as well. And then we have the stages and we can click on the stage. And now you can see we are here. Okay, great. So everything is nice. And uh, yeah, okay. So you have seen that uh, we have successfully uh, added the characters and characters are working absolutely good uh, for the 3d fighter scene as well so definitely you can create that fighters character files like that as well and uh, now the next thing is the stages so in the last video we have learned that how we can change the 2d scenes and uh, stages and uh, similarly for the 3d we can uh, use this similar technique. So I have added a, this boxing ring uh, large uh, this uh, asset and I will just bring it to the supported assets and here is the boxing ring and if we go to the scenes and open it and then play it you will see that it has a yeah boxing ring you can see a very nice boxing ring is there definitely we can add the uh, surrounding as well but uh, for now it is a simple uh, boxing ring and uh, we can uh, use it now for the purpose of learning and uh, definitely when we we'll move further to the finalizing the scene we will definitely add dynamic scenes as well so if we move back and we can go to prefabs and then if we bring the prefab here yeah you can see this prefab but it has missing textures and yeah this prefab has full textures definitely we can change these uh, textures and the logos etc so no worries about that so let's move back ufe and demo and shared assets and here we have replaced this 2d uh, prefab and now the case is for the 3d so let's open the 3d and here you can see that we have a 3d scene here so let's double click on this 3d scene and you can see that this 3d scene has this uh, training room object which has this cylinder okay and uh, it 
the position is 0, minus 10 and 0. Okay, so this is important. So let's duplicate this control D and re let's rename it and uh, we will rename it with the boxing or we can say fighting ring scene okay and now we will just double click on this let's move back let's go to shared assets uh, sorry supported assets and uh, let's go to the boxing rings and let's go to prefab and let's bring the prefab here and now you can see that this is a ring uh, prefab and the size of the prefab is quite small and the placement is also on the 0, 0, 0 axis which is good and we will make it bigger definitely so let's make it 4, 4, 4 and we will make it uh, 6, 6 and 6 I think I think uh, a little bit more bigger eight eight and eight okay so now you can see that we have a nice ring and definitely we will in uh, next video when we'll finalize the things we will add the uh, environment as well 3d environment some spectators etc but for now you can see that everything looks good if we select the training room, you can see this is a training room and uh, on the y-axis it's on minus 10. Uh, but for the for this, I think uh, this is fine. I think uh, that is fine. But the uh, mesh here, if we see the collider of this uh, uh, cylinder, uh, let's see collider. Where is the collider? There is no collider at all. So it is a cylinder and it didn't have any collider so I don't know why and for this environment we have definitely the colliders as well so let's test it out first and then I will move further and we'll see that how we can fix the thing so I think the uh, this placement should be uh, here okay and where we have the cylinder uh, base and uh, now we can just go to training room let's uh, hide the mesh or renderer let's go to assets ufe and uh, demos 3d fighter demo type 1 save it and now UFE manager open the UFE manager and then we can go to UFE demos shared assets stages 3d and we have this uh, fighting ring so let's go to the stages over here and uh, you can see that we have two stages one is for prefab and one is for uh, scene file so let's duplicate it let's um, rename it to the fighting ring and definitely we have to change this name of the training room to fighting ring and uh, you can see that we have a radius here okay so in the other case we have the bounds uh, for the x and y axis but for the 3d scenes we have the radius definitely we can add some image for this and i will definitely place some accurate image for to, for now i will just add the random image for testing purpose just uh, save it and close it and let's play it again let's see how it will act so versus player okay and okay why oh yeah okay it's, it takes time for loading and now it's here let's click on fighting ring 
and again we have made the mistake because we didn't have added it to build settings and now let's play it again versus player versus cpu and okay let's see yeah that's great and you can see that uh, we have a nice characters and i think everything working fine yeah that's fine and definitely uh, the it not looks very nice because the ring size is too big and uh, i think the ring size will be around 4 4 okay and then we can set up the uh, radius as well so don't worry we can move back fighting ring select the fighting ring and make it 4 4 4 definitely the position will be compromised so we'll bring masher and rod again and then we will bring it on the top like this okay so now let's hide the training room again now hopefully it should be fine with the size so again type 1 play it again the lighting and the environment and the other settings definitely we will set up these things later on don't be worry about that but in this video you can understand that how we can replace the 3d scenes with our own custom scenes okay so yeah you can see now the size is quite uh, fine yeah but it should be in the radius okay so the radius can be set up here from the UFE manager and uh, config file type uh, 1 and here you can see the stages you can see the <coughs> radius for the fighting scene so let's make it 10 for example and you can see that now the radius is 10 and uh, uh, yeah that's fine but I think uh, 10 is not fine it should be a little bit more maybe okay first I will check it out that how much it can go around move around oh very sad yeah i think it is uh, within the bounds so it's fine uh, yeah i think that's fine because uh, uh, yeah i will just check out yeah 10 bound is fine i think uh, yes it's accurate so that's it uh, we have learned that how we can change the scene and how we can uh, set up the bounds the radius and how we can set up other things as well definitely it is just the example for the main game i will just create some nice scenes and we will play with that scenes as well and then there will be step when we will play with the ui and then corrector uh, combo attacks and other things as well so let's see the next video goodbye